this might be a little bit of a surprise to you. He is out at night. So, good thing it is night. Let's head toward the reservoir. Because we haven't been here uh, since McConnell's core. So this might be a little bit of a surprise to you. But, Don Argentis has moved here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about why they're here. <laughs> this is why they're here. It, it's kind of obvious once you see it. They moved here. Uh, from Alchemoth, Don Argentis got out in time, uh, but he is actually the person we're looking for. How you doing, Don? Uh, Did you hear the rumors about the wonderful Colony 6? People of any race are welcome. I'm thinking about moving there. You never know, they might need a high end tier representative. And we can invite him to Colony 6. I should go over what you actually need for uh, people. With Alexi, you need housing and special to be level 4. Uh, with Nick, you need housing level 5, and you need no po Rick on the affinity chart. Uh, for Don Argentis, you need housing and nature to level 4, which we have now. So let's go ahead and invite him to Colony 6. Oh, you will not be disappointed. Leave all Colony 6 high end here matters to me. <laughs> here I come, Colony 6. And I think we should be worried. Don Argentis has moved to Colony 6. Reconstruction plus 2. Population plus 2. So that's a thing. Uh, another update to the affinity chart, because Don Argentis has moved, which might explain why he had no affinity links between either one of his children. They still don't have affinity between the two of them. I'm just throwing that out there right now. All right, so moving on, we are gonna go actually to the uh, sacred altar. Not that far away, but far enough that I'm gonna warp. And we want to head up to Kin Shopping Street, which is up here. And we are looking for... Who are we looking for? Uh, Manana is who we are looking for. Uh, Manana is around during the day. Usually right around here. Well, like more towards the shop, but still. Somewhere around here. Yes. Around the back. There's Manana. How you doing, Manana? Either Manana or Butler must go to Miss Sweetness in Colony 6, ordered to do so. But me and Butler do not want to leave this village. However, if friends think Manana should go, then Manana will. I want friends to take me to Colony 6. And so we have an actual option here. Uh, we can either invite Manana, who's essentially the maid, or we can invite Goago, who is the butler. At this point, it is available. We do need housing to be up to level 5. We need 55% reconstruction. We need berry jammy in Colony 6. And of course, we can't invite both of them. I'm going to go ahead in and invite Minana because uh, doing this gets me more experience in gold. And that's a good enough reason for me to do anything in this game. So we're going to go ahead and invite her to Colony 6. Thank you, friends. Manana here at quite a big place. That put me at ease. Anyway, at my job, so I will do my best. Must take care of Miss Sweetness Berry Jammy. And we got more affinity. I didn't see which region it was. It looked like Colony 6, though. Uh, Manana has moved to Colony 6. Reconstruction plus 2. Population plus 3. Quite a few people are going over there. Another update to the affinity chart and an achievement. I believe that is for uh, population. Uh, but we already have friendship between Berry Jammy and and Manana, uh, go -a go should be somewhere. <laughs> uh, roots across the world. That is a lot of experience that you're giving me for this achievement. What did I get? Five? Helped almost everyone to form affinity for each other. All right, so just generic uh, affinity chart stuff there. 30,000 experience for that, I'll take it. It is quite full. It, it looks pretty damn nice. How do I zoom out again? It's one. Yeah, look at that. Lots of connections. We still have quite a bit to do in uh, Colony 6, way over here. But ultimately, pretty much everybody is connected in some way or another. Who's this down here? Pico. Pico does not have any affinity with anybody. That makes me sad. And then somebody over here? Go a go. Well, go a go. We just talked about. Uh, not moving, and that might be a reason for that. All right. We still have more to do. We're still inviting people. 
Uh, let's go ahead and head out to Satoru Marsh. And we are going to go to uh, the Sororal statues. Way over here. And this is another place where some high Entia ended up. I think I brought that up before. But it's different when you get to see it. They're over here. I've gone over there a few times expecting a couple people to, to just kind of be there. They don't show up until now. And now that I think about it, there's usually a... There was a Nopon around here, I thought, uh, that wanted to talk about, uh, you know, the actual Sororal statues. Which are over there and over there. And you can see them. Very short wings on them. They're not full-blooded Hyentia, therefore... The Bionis told me to hate them, or whatever her excuse was. Uh, but if we head over by the uh, the Hyentia ship over here, you can see there's quite a few people. Uh, we have Zell Argentus here. Also a couple quests available from Rosiel. And just a random person. We do have Ro Rosiel, that's something. Uh, Zell Argentis is actually the one that we want to talk to. Um, I don't actually have a reason for why. I just randomly kind of chose Zell Argentis. Uh, but she is mutually exclusive to her sister and Argentis. So you can only have one. It doesn't truly matter. I think I chose it because I, I liked a different character more. But to me, Zell and N are kind of like the same. I have a hard time telling them apart. But let's talk to Zell. I wonder where my father and sister have gone. I cannot get any news here. If only I were in a place with people from all over the world. So we can invite her to Colony 6. Good enough reason for me. In order to get her to want to go... Um, Oh, she's only here during the day, by the way. Uh, but you need housing level to be five. You need to have invited her father, Don Argentis. And you cannot have invited N. Argentis. But you need to know who N. Argentis is. N. Argentis must be on the affinity chart. What? My father? Don Argentis is living in that colony? Thank you, thank you. I am fed up of living alone. I'm heading straight there. And Zell Argentis has moved to Colony 6. Reconstruction plus 2. Population plus 4. Ooh, she brought quite a few friends. And an update to the affinity chart. No real surprises there. And we have Zell Argentis and N Argentis now are twin sisters. Until you move somebody there, that will not happen. Uh, we also have... Uh, reunited between Zell Argentis and Dawn Argentis, and parted ways between Dawn and N, because uh, she's still in Aerith C somewhere. We'll go see her at some point, I am sure. Uh, but now we got all three of them together. They don't seem particularly happy. It's all yellow affinity between them, which is kind of weird, but that's the case. All right, so we are going to head back colony six there's quite a bit of work that can be done there the first thing that i want to do though is try to take care of well the enemies that are spawning that are ancient i think I'll sh i should be able to take them on at this level i'm kind of scared because there is a quest uh that can trigger from this where i will be really under leveled uh but that is not right now Speaking of which, I almost wanted to show you guys a, a very powerful enemy that was back on the Fallen Arm since I was running around there looking for a, a rainbow slug. And he was there. Uh, but we'll take care of that some other time. Just know that there are enemies that uh, break the cap of level 99 out there. They can be deadly. So, we do have one of the uh, the Telethia out there. I wanted to see his name, but he's way out there. Even though it doesn't look it, he's just that big. So I can't quite get close enough to see it. Uh, more Telethia here as well. They do try to up everything. Uh, isn't this? Yeah, this is where the ancient Regulia are. This is where the Aether Planet is on uh, the Splendid Path. So this is where they want to hang out. Yeah, they're only level 63. Nothing too bad for me at this point. Could have technically done this before I took care of the Nikonis core. I believe it is technically possible 
to get uh, housing up to level 5 and all of that um, beforehand, but really it's in, it involves taking on enemies that are, you know, level 75, 76, and that's too high for me, for my taste. So I like putting it on. Those are, after all, the levels of the enemies that we were encountering uh, in Prison Island, which is much further than Makana's Core, if you ask me, even though it's not really. Uh, it feels like it's a long way to go. Alright, there's one down. Oh, I actually do need to try a little bit longer on me. Alright, three of them should be enough, though. And down you go! And we have completed Defend Colony 6 Ancient. You eliminated the threat of the primeval enemies that had appeared by the Aether Planner. 15,000 gold, 10,000 experience for my trouble. The attack is over, so everything should be back to normal now. Hooray! I did it. What'd they drop for me? Can't they drop something nice? Silver Rogal Wings. Those can be nice. Uh, a couple arms that I probably don't care about because there's no slots on them. More infinity in the region. 11,000 experience as well. So yeah, these are technically the Aether Planners, right? But... Uh, you don't like do anything directly with them. They just malfunction from time to time because enemies spawn on them. Uh, so let's check my affinity because I actually got a lot of affinity right there for Colony Six. Those two stars. I'm hoping. Yeah. Well, I'll just continue to hope then. All right. So let's head back to the Reconstruction HQ. Because, like I said, there's a lot of work that can now be done here that I have been putting off for at least a little bit. Uh, but, before we take care of any of that, I did want to take care of the Collectopedia. I forgot to do this list last time until I kind of ran out of time. Uh, so let's start taking care of it now. Uh, we'll start with the Bionis' interior. And this is a thing that might come back to bite me in the ass later. But I'm going to take care of this now. So... Sarsaparilla. You only need one of these. I have five. They're not that difficult to find, but if you're struggling to find one, I don't have a particular spot for you. They're somewhere in Bionis' interior. They're kind of relatively common, even though I only got five. And I've been in there twice now, but we'll go ahead and drop that. A very hot vegetable. The best cook in Bionis can't make this taste good. This used to be the main ingredient of root beer. It's not anymore. But as a result, I have a, I have a, an affection for sarsaparilla. Either way, they could be right. What do I know? Probably never had it. Uh, next up is the black liver bean. We need three of these. I know how many I have. I've been keeping track. I only got one. I'm going to plop it down here. Mm, this hurts. But we're going to do it. We're going to plop down the black liver bean. And we completed the category. Earning ourselves Haste 5. There's a reason why I'm plopping stuff down right now. They give me some nice gems out of it. Haste 5 is no joke. Though strongly bitter, a skilled chef can turn it into a gourmet food. Never been a fan of liver myself, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, next up we have the blood worm. You only need one of these. Uh, I have five. These are a really nice gift for Fiora. So I'm going to want more of these. Unfortunately, if you're short, I recommend checking the wiki. You're going to have to run for them. Uh, there is nothing in Bionis' interior that is tradable. So go check the wiki or run around Bionis' interior and spend a couple hours doing that because that's how long it might take. That's how long it will take if you don't save state abuse. Bloodworm, though. The name is rather ominous, but folk love its cute wriggling movements. I'm not sure I would. Uh, Azure Mouse, you only need one. I have seven. Once again, just somewhere in Bionis' interior. A stocky mouse, indigo in color. It moves in extreme slow motion. Azure and indigo. Those are technically two different colors. I'm not sure if I could tell them apart. I always think of azure as a blue and indigo as a purple, but that's as far as I got. Next up, we have a happy duck. Oh, so happy. You only need one. I have two. I'll just keep that happy duck around to cheer me up whenever I want, I guess. Uh, once again, check the wiki somewhere in Bionis' interior. Good luck. Everything in Bionis' interior. Just good luck. 
We'll put that down, completing the category of animals, and we get aggro down four as a result. Happy duck, a duck with an infectiously gleeful quack that brings delight to all. How nice. Then we have the tap, tap, tap. You only need one of these. I have four, once again, somewhere in Bionis's interior. Best I can give to you. Ricky did a jig, as he named this. Might come in handy at a dance. Once again, they give me absolutely no idea what we're dealing with here. I, whatever it is, it made Ricky happy. Next up, we have the Hyantia Jewel. You only need one of these. I have eight. I was about to say, this was one of the more common ones for me. And once again, somewhere in Bionis' interior. It's the best I can do. I'm sorry. Check the wiki. They have very specific locations for some of the rarer ones, but some of the more common ones, they're just like, it's in there. You'll find it. But Hyantia Jewel gets put down, completing the category earning ourselves strength down five, and we have completed the area, earning ourselves Z-Speed goggles with a slot. Very nice. That will probably be put on your pretty short. Hi, Antia Jewel. Melia named this deferentially. A ring with lovely old style designs. Apparently, there were just rings lying around. And we have completed Bionis' Interiors Collectopedia page. We will have to get two more black liver beans at some point. I might take care of it between sessions. That's how difficult that one is. I know it's that difficult. I've had to do it before. All right. Wow. That's, uh, that's everything except the other page done. Let's head to, uh, Prison Islands page next. Uh, there are a few things that you will need many of from here. We haven't gone back yet, but we will. There will be stuff that we need out of here. We'll start with a dry lemon, though. You only need one of these. I have four. Uh, I recommend the first floor or the fifth floor of Prison Island in order to get these. Dry lemon. So cold, the juice seems frozen. Delicious if that doesn't bother you. Like lemon ice? Lemon ice is awesome. So why would a frozen lemon... Okay, whatever. It could be worse. Death lychee. I need 11 of these. I doubt I have it, but I'm going to get rid of one right now. Uh, I only have five. So I'm going to need uh, six more. Uh, best found on the ground floor. But uh, as always, check the wiki if you're really having trouble finding it. That'd be my advice to you. A sweetness to die for. Press it for a white juice that's like cream soda. So, you know, like a lychee. It's kind of rare to see a lychee in, in America. But since I live in California, there's lots of Asian markets. I'm well aware of what... A lychee is. Uh, next up, we have hell raspberries. Uh, you need six of these. I only have three, but you do want to farm these because these are actually the best gift for Sharla. Unfortunately, the best place to find them is the ground floor and the first floor. Uh, but if you remember, I did say that the kitchen was a particularly good place for them to spawn. Uh, I think that's kind of a joke by the programmers, but it pans out to be true on top of the tables. There's lots of spawn locations on top of the tables. Good chance that you'll find a hell raspberry or two there. So, hell raspberry, hot. People who have eaten it have sworn they've seen demonic visions. Charla likes that, apparently. We're moving on. Deadly kiwi, you only need one of these. I have 12. Uh, if you're short, though, ground floor is the best place to look for those. Go ahead and put that down, completing the category, earning ourselves break five. Not bad. A black kiwi fruit so cold that all other fruits pale in comparison to how cold it is? Or is it good because it's cold? Either way, it's time to deal with dancing squirrels. You only need one dancing squirrel, which it saddens me. Nobody else wants a dancing squirrel. I want a dancing squirrel. Uh, if you're having trouble finding them, ground floor, fifth floor, best shot. Let's go ahead and put that down. Dancing squirrel, it's green fur and love of dancing. Make it look like a leaf in the breeze. And nobody wants it. Nobody wants a dancing squirrel. This makes me sad. Lightning weasel. Once again, nobody wants a lightning weasel. You only need one of them. I have three. Uh, only found at night. Ground floor is the best chance for that one. But we'll put that down. Lightning weasel. 
the cute little blue-eyed weasel moves at lightning speed. Once again, nobody wants that. That sounds like a great pet. Hard to manage at times, but if you got like a lawn, sure. Uh, next, we have an angry monkey. This I understand why nobody wants. You only need one of these. Uh, I have five. That sounds weird. Why would I keep so many angry monkeys in my inventory? If you're short on these, fifth floor is your best shot. And we've completed the category, earning ourselves good footing five. Now, if I remember correctly, that actually does start panning out at the higher levels as well. There will be situations where I'll need some good footing. But Angry Monkey has an angry looking face, but has a gentle nature, really. Oh, so it's a nice monkey. So then wh why does nobody want any of these animals as pets? Either way, we have a Senorita Scarab. Uh, you only need one of these. Uh, best found on the fourth floor. Yes, the fourth floor. I think that's one of the few ones that's found there. Uh, you only need one out uh, of five. Although stocky as befits a beetle, it has a graceful ladylike demeanor. So it is Senorita Scarab. Uh, next up, we have the Emperor Beetle. Uh, you only need one of these. I have four. They're best found in the fourth floor battle arena. But that does complete the category, earning ourselves agility up five. Very nice. I've been a little bit short on the agility ups, although I don't need too many points in agility to max that out. It's only 50. Either way, I will take it. Emperor Beetle, a stocky beetle whose red coloring and ferocity are second to none. Then we have an absurd branch. I want to know what makes it so absurd. You only need one of these. I have two. Best found on the ground floor. Absurd branch. A small branch that attracts mice from who knows where. It's always damp. I have so many questions and they will not answer that for me at all. Next up we have the Insanity Moss. Once again, details. Why is it insanity? Uh, you only need one. I have five. Best found on the ground floor. Lots of stuff is best found on the ground floor. Ground floor is big. But we'll put that down, we'll complete the category of nature, and we'll get strength up five as a result. Insanity moss. An ochre moss that doesn't wither. Makes you feel sick if you touch it. Ochre. It's a color. I want to say somewhere between green and brown. But I, I could be way off on that. Colors. Not my strong suit. White. I know that one. White cover. Uh, we only need one of those. I have three. They're best found on the ground floor as well. White cover. S lovely solid white board. You don't know. You don't want to know what it's made from. Now I do though. If you tell me I don't want to know it, then I want to know it. They're not going to tell me. Next up we have a modern resistor. Uh, you only need one of these. I have five. Best found on the ground floor and the fifth floor. Useless now for memory storage. Might make a nice ornament though. It's like an actual computer part. Oddly enough, like Shulk does not really love this. You would think he would. Then we have a green cam. You only need one of these. I have nine. Best found on the fourth floor battle arena. Many's the scientists that would enjoy thinking up ways to use this part. Shulk is the best person to give this to, but it's not a particularly good gift for him. It's weird how that happens sometimes. And lastly, in the parts category, we have a strong screw. And I'm moving on before I get into trouble with this one. You only need one. I have four. Best found on the ground floor as well. That completes the category. Earning ourselves Letios Quises, which don't have a slot, so I probably won't use them. Strong screw, a blue heart-shaped screw. Small and cute, but hard to handle. I'm not touching this. We're moving on. Next up, we have a blue glow. Uh, you only need one of these. I have five best found on the ground floor and the fifth floor. Blue glow. Dunban felt down when he named it. A sorrowful and ominous ball of light. How can a ball of light be so... What kind of blue is this? All right, and next up we have blue blood, just lots of blue. We'll go ahead and put that down. You only need one. I have three, best found on the first floor and the fifth floor. And we completed the category, earning ourselves ether up five. I could always use more of those, I guess. 
And we have completed the area, earning ourselves a Letios plate. Once again, no slot. So, might not use it. It could be really nice, though. But Blue Blood! Melia named this cautiously. It's a blood stained pendant. Mm. So, uh, we have completed almost everything here. We have 20 pages of the Collectopedia done. Uh, we only have two more things that we need to trade for. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head what this one is, uh, but this one here, uh, this will be one of the last things that we do before New Game Plus. I literally need to complete, uh, to defeat bosses uh, just to trade for this. Uh, they will drop the only thing that I can trade for this thing. And it's a really nice thing, and I'm probably gonna want multiple ones of them, but yeah, this is one of the last things that I'll be able to do, so we might as well take care of this now. I'm a little upset that I don't get uh, any kind of achievement for doing the other 20 pages, but you know what? I will accept that. And we will continue from here next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been Bar Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my still running around naked squad of Charlotte Melia Dunban and Dunban. Dunban's been the naked one. Sorry, I was distracted by abs or something. Ricky, Shulk, Ryan, and Fiora were also, also with us today. They were significantly less important, even though I thought I would have to bring Ryan in. But uh, Naked Dunban, he does the job. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.